So now you're still in the same ball, and you're hanging from a hook, and a bird comes along and lands on it. It's a bird. And the bird flaps its wings, flappity, 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 flap, and pulls you way up here. So now you're up here. Oh! Will you stop when you get down there? No. What'll happen? Okay, you go up the other side. Will you get as high on this side as you were over here? No. Oh, oh, yeah, you're good. Sitting on a pedestal is a giant red M&M. If you hold that M&M for 10 minutes, you just develop superpowers that last you for 10 hours. You'll be able to have bullets bounce off of your chest. You have x-ray vision. You'll be able to fly through the air. All the Superman powers will be yours if you hold that m and for 10 minutes. So here's all the minions. And evil Mr. Fred knows that minions love M&Ms. And so it was not hard for him to convince them that they had to go and find the giant red M&M. We want to glue the clothespin onto the CD. What it really needs is a minion hanging from a thread. There, so now we got a minion, and we can make him hang up high if we like. We can make him hang higher. He could be up there if we like. And then we make him drop. Or we can make him further down. So he bangs into the ground. So we put some glue on his feet. And stick a magnet on it. There. Now we have a minion with a magnet dangling from a thread. Rope, rope. We could swing him, and he can swing, but we want him to act weird. We want him to dance. So first you're going to make this part, and then we'll give you some other pieces, and you're going to try to make your minion dance. The idea is to make your minion dance with the second magnet. Don't glue the second one, just move it around. How many magnets will make the minion dance the best? Try putting three on your plate. Should we go for four magnets? Yeah! Can you decide how to put them or how many you need to make it dance the best?